Hello. You may sit right there. All right. So, what seems to be the problem today? Well, it seems that I've been having these head, head pain headaches all week, and I don't think it's. I think it's just more than a headache. Like mm -hmm. I, I started drinking some water, but the more I drank, I couldn't leave the bathroom. How long has this been going on for? For a while. Okay, well I'm going to take you around the hallway, that's where we have our head equipment. That should determine the problem. So if you could just follow me right this way, sir. Don't mind these people, they're just always here. I don't even know why they're here. Huh? I'm one of your patients. No, you're a crazy psychopath, that's before. <laughs> right here, sir. If you can just lie down on that bed, that'll be fantastic. Tell me, how have you been feeling? Terrible. My head's been killing me. Uh, must be the wife and kids. They're terrible. How is your wife? Uh, she recently died in a car accident. What? Really? Yes. Aw, oh, man. You see, if I ever had a wife, I would kill her, to be honest. It would just be a way funnier way to go out. And why would you do that? I don't know. Anyway, you should definitely trust me with your face. Alright. So. I'm just going to sanitize the area. This is a great sanitization method we use. We definitely did not buy the materials at CVS earlier today. So I'm just going uh, to sanitize that, sanitize that, sanitize that, and we are done. So, sir, I have diagnosed your problem. And in fact, I have to say that you are the most luckiest man on earth. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you get to go away from your kids. You're gonna die. Like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? No. Why not? You get to go away from your kids. But no, like I love my kids. Just that. Okay, listen. Like I'm a millionaire, but I have a big fortune, and I don't know which son to give it to. Really? Yeah. Well, I have a great way to determine that. Take your sons. And you tell him, look, who loves your daddy more? And if they tell you that they love you more than the other one, they don't get it because they right there are a gold digger. All right, then. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Boys, come in here. Why? Because I said so. Okay, okay. <sighs> so, I was at the doctor yesterday. Hey! No! Can you see that we're having a family moment right here? Please leave. Okay, I come back later. Okay, Pops, what you got for us? Listen carefully, boys. As I was saying, I was at the doctor yesterday with some headaches, but they told me I'd go to the hospital to get some tests done. I got some scans, and the doctor discovered that I have a brain tumor. So, the doctor said I will only have at most four days to live. What are we gonna do without you? All your money, what will happen to it? You want food now? No! I have not yet com completed with all my will, so I will see my lawyer in a few hours. The most important part is my fortune, my yachts, my houses, my jets. But who is going to get it all? Each of you must prove to me who deserves the money, mainly.
Hi, um, I'm looking for an assassin to kill my brother's wife. Yeah, there's a uh, dinner party tomorrow night, 7 p.m. All right, you'll be there for like 7.15. Okay, thank you. See you then. Bye. Yes. So, Lucy, did you hear my father, Vincent, has a brain tumor? Victor didn't tell me that. I'm so sorry. Three days to live as well. That's awful. Let's see. Boys, this needs to end now. It's going way too far. Luckily, I've already made up my decision. So who gets the money then, Dad? Victor, then. Yes! What the hell, Dad? Why would you give it to that guy? He's so irresponsible! Share- Share the money! Do that. Share the money! No! At least give me a jet! No, I want Why the yacht! Give me I have his houses, I have his yachts, I have his jets, I 
this business? I am Microsoft. Yes! You know what, Victor? I don't care anymore. I'm tired of fighting over Papa's money. I'm happy for you. Okay? I'll pack my things and leave. Bye, Victor. See you around, I guess. Wait, Vince! What? We can split the money.